Welcome to Smart Remarks, where school's out for summer, and maybe soon, forever. So in real life, among other things, I'm a baseball coach. I'm the head coach of my 10-year-old son's team. I actually help run the association. We've got five teams and play at the local elementary school. But this year, for the first time, we've got a major new expense. The school district is actually charging us to use the field, in part because they needed to fill a budget gap. This is the story across the country. as School districts struggle financially and impose new costs on families and community organizations such as our own. Here in Pennsylvania, the school funding crisis has been acute. Republican Governor Tom Corbett has slashed funding substantially, and school districts are struggling to keep up. Uh, faced with rising costs, even as money from the state dries up, districts have had to tighten their belts. Programs have been cut, new fees imposed, uh, services are outsourced, some unions have agreed to pay freezes, and always the threat of layoffs loom. And still, districts are struggling to stay ahead of the curve, and it's only going to get worse. What we're seeing is actually the beginning of the end of public education here in Pennsylvania. And what I'm trying to figure out is whether this is a product of the recession or a specific plan by our Republican governor. There are many legitimate issues surrounding school district finances. You know, you've got pensions, you've got teacher pay, you've got the cost of special education. The costs are rising at a rate that's unsustainable and reform is absolutely necessary. But one of the most basic obligations of the state is to educate children and conservatives are trying to shirk this responsibility. They want vouchers or parental choice. Let's use the official code word. Mitt Romney was talking about dramatically expanding parental choice this week. Uh, that means he wants vouchers he wants uh, parents to be able to pull their kids from public schools and take them and their tax money to private schools, religious schools, cyber schools, anywhere the state wouldn't bear responsibility. Republicans think education should, in effect, be privatized. In part, this is for fiscal reasons, but it's also because ideologically, Republicans always believe that the private sector can do better than government. So while the recession has reduced tax receipts, and a guy like Corbett might say, hey, we can't raise taxes in a recession, if you were looking to destroy public education, this is how you do it. Pull the rug out from under the schools, cut funding, then institute vouchers and let parents pull their kids and take their tax dollars with them. And that starts the vicious spiral. Uh, programs have to be cut, fees imposed, the quality of education may decline, thereby inducing even more parents to pull their kids. Rinse and repeat until you've washed public education down the drain. Is this the plan? I don't know, but if it was, it would be a pretty effective plan.